So, D23 has been going on this weekend, and it's provided us with a lot of interesting and exciting information regarding upcoming films and projects from the masters themselves known as Disney. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is going through a few of the ones that stood out to me, and what I'm most looking forward to in the upcoming years from Disney. So first up we have A Wrinkle in Time. Now this movie is the new kind of live action special Disney movie, kind of in the line of films like Tomorrowland and things like that. Um, when I first heard of this film, I knew it was based on a book, but I'd never read the book. Um, I'm not really much of a reader myself, um, but I was still interested to see it. And when I first watched the trailer, I've watched the trailer about 10 times now. And I keep watching it because I just enjoy it. But when I first watched it, I felt it a bit iffy. I kind of was looking at it going, well, this kind of just looks like they're trying to do another special effects showcase. They've got a visionary director back to do it. Um, who actually turned down Black Panther originally, which I'm kind of disappointed by. But, you know, I, you know, I just think this is going to be more of a special effects showcase than anything else. Kind of like what Tomorrowland and the most recent Valerian and A City of Thousand Planets was going to be. But this movie seems to have a really cool story to it, and I really do like the concept behind it. I think Chris Pine is going to be a great addition here. Um, of course, he's hot off of Wonder Woman, so he's going to be snatching up quite a few roles now. And uh, not that he wasn't a big action star before, because he is, he is Captain Kirk, of course. But I think this is really coming off the back of Wonder Woman. And I think the whole thing about these, you know, these kids looking for their father with this mysterious edge to it is something that actually attracts me. So, yeah, I'm, I actually am really looking forward to A Wrinkle in Time. Marvel Studios came out and showed us the first teaser trailer for Avengers Infinity War. What's important to note is that the stakes looks like they have definitely risen, which is something the MCU has needed for a very long time. Also, the fact that the tones have got two different conflicting tones are going to match the two different parts of the movie. On Earth, you've got dark and gritty tones, which really suit the wreckage going on there. And also, in space, you've got the Guardians of the Galaxy slash Thor Ragnarok tone, which is going to match really well. Hopefully, we will see this trailer at the end of San Diego Comic Con. So they were the things that stood out to me when looking at the D23 Expo. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought was awesome about this announcement. Like I said, I didn't cover everything. It's just the things that were kind of important to me and stood out to me. Um, and I think that the upcoming years of Disney are going to be very, very exciting. There is that picture out there of the upcoming timeline uh, of Disney movies with both you know Disney live action, Disney animation, and Marvel Studios. And I think it's going to be so awesome to see all of these films come out. And D23 overall was awesome.